nous voici dans la basilique de l'agonie de Gethsemane où notre célébration va commencer. Nous nous aurons une pensée particulière ce soir pour toutes les personnes qui se trouvent en situation. Welcome to this holy hour, this vigil with Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane. We welcome all our people joining us through EWTN USA and Salt and Light Media and those who are watching from the Christian Media Center in Jerusalem on YouTube. Hic dixi Dominus, vigilate et orate, ut non intretis in tentationem. Sorgite e amus. the Franciscan Custody of the Holy Land, the Friars of the Custody, and the Custus, Father Francesco Paton, are now processing into the Basilica through the garden, through the sacred olive trees that were present and witnessed to the agony of Christ. choir sings, then Jesus came with them to the place called Gethsemane. My soul is weary unto death. Custos and the friars of the custody of the Holy Land are joined in prayer with the apostolic delegate, His Excellency Ilan Tito Ilano, and the new Bishop of Cyprus, His Excellency Bruno Variano. My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass me by, but not my will, but yours be done.
together with the Mother Church of Jerusalem. We come together at Gethsemane to commemorate the salvific events that took place in this holy place on the eve of our Lord's Passion. Recalling the three principal moments as narrated by the Gospel, we will be reflecting upon Christ's prediction of Peter's denial and the subsequent fleeing of his disciples, Christ's agony in the garden, and finally his arrest. A psalm which will introduce each of the three moments will put us in the right spirit to accept the appropriate gospel readings that will follow. A short period of silence and a concluding prayer will follow the gospel readings. A universal prayer and the Our Father will conclude our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Carissimi fratelli e sorelle, che vi siete uniti a noi grazie al Christian Media Center. Dear brothers and sisters, those who join us through the media, thanks to the Christian Media Center for the prayers of this holy hour from Gethsemane. This year, our prayer has a special taste and intention. Like Christ on the night of the first Holy Thursday, we feel the anguish that grips our hearts over the many, too many wars that make the future of all humanity uncertain. We know that at this particularly difficult time for the small Christian community in Gaza, as for all the affected Christian communities in many countries around the world, so many of our brothers and sisters, like Jesus, on the night of that first Holy Thursday, are feeling anguish, are sweating blood, and living the hour of their agony, of their struggle to continue trusting the Father and surrendering themselves totally into the Father's hands, like Jesus, and together with Jesus. We too, with Jesus, pray. Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup from me, but not what I will, but what you will. Let us pray in this holy hour, knowing that to the Father all things are possible, even to make violence, hatred, war cease in an instant, and to open hearts to reconciliation and to peace. Let us pray in this holy hour, especially to grow in the ability to trust God the Father, knowing full well that in this hour He is not far from us and has not forgotten us. Let us pray for those who have responsibilities in the church and in society, locally and internationally, that they know how to attune themselves to the will of the Father in making choices for the good of individuals and society, helping to overcome personal selfishness and collective selfishness, and working seriously for peace among peoples, nations, and believers of all religions. Let us pray in this holy hour that, like Christ in his agony, an angel from heaven visit and console those who feel most alone in the hospital bed or nursing home, in the isolation of their own room or apartment. Let us pray for each of us that Jesus' prayer may become our prayer each day, and more and more, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup away from me, but not my will, but yours be done. لإحياء ذكرى أحداث الخلاص التي جرت في هذا المكان المقدس عشية آلام ربنا بذكر اللحظات الثلاث الرئيسية من الإنجيل المقدس سوف نتأمل في تنبؤ المسيح بشأن إنكار بطرس له وهروب التلاميذ خوفا هنا في بستان الزيتون وعذاب المسيح في البستان وأخيرا 
تسليمه واعتقاله مصلين كجماعة واحدة ومرنمين المزمور الذي سيساعدنا للدخول بعمق التأمل في كل من اللحظات الثلاث للعيش بجوهرية الإنجيل المتأمل سيتبع ذلك فترة قصيرة من الصمت ومن بعدها سنتضرع إلى الله بصلاة المؤمنين وفي النهاية سنتلو الصلاة الربية خاتمين احتفالنا بصلاة الكاهن الختامية Together with the Mother Church of Jerusalem, we have come together at Jetsman to commemorate the Sarvif events that took place in this holy place on the eve of our Lord's Passion, recalling the three principal moments as narrated by the Gospels. We will be reflecting upon Christ's prediction of Peter's denial and the subsequent freeing of the disciples, Christ's agony in the garden. And finally, his arrest, a psalm which will introduce each of these three moments, will put us in the right spirit to accept the appropriate gospel readings that will follow. A short period of silence and concluding prayer will follow the gospel readings. A universal prayer and the Our Father will conclude our celebration. Oremus cum Cristo a tentationem pericula superanda. Let us pray with Christ to overcome temptation. Let us bend the knee. Oremus. Let us pray. Domine Jesu Christe, qui in orto verbo et exemplo. Lord Jesus, who taught us to pray in the garden by word and example, in order to overcome the danger of temptation, grant us the favor to merit and obtain the copious fruits of our prayers. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Levate. Let us stand. The first psalm is Psalm 54 against a treacherous friend.
My God, deliver me from the hand of the sinner. Dios mío, escucha mi oración. No te cierres a mi súplica. Hazme caso y respóndeme. Me agitan mis ansiedades. Me turba la voz del enemigo, los gritos del malvado. Descargan sobre mí calamidades y me atacan con furia. Si agita mi corazón, me sobrecoge un pavor mortal. Me asalta el temor y el terror. Me cubre el espanto. Y pienso... ¿Quién me diera alas de paloma para volar y posarme? Emigraría lejos, habitaría en el desierto. Esperaría en el que puede salvarme del huracán y la tormenta. Listen, God, to my prayer. Do not hide from my pleading. Hear me and give answer. I rock with grief. I groan at the uproar of the enemy, the clamor of the wicked. They heap trouble upon me savagely accuse me. My heart pounds within me. Death's terrors fall upon me. Fear and trembling overwhelm me. Shuddering sweeps over me. Denn nicht ein Feind beschimpft mich, das könnte ich ertragen. Nicht einer, der mich hasst, tritt groß gegen mich auf. I say, if only I had wings like a dove, that I might fly away and find rest. Far away I would flee, I would stay in the desert. I would soon find a shelter from the raging wind and storm. Lord, check and confuse their tongues, for I see violence and strife in the city, making rounds on its walls day and night. Within are mischief and trouble, treachery in its midst. Oppression and fraud never leave its streets, for it is not an enemy that reviles me, that I could bear, not a foe who views me with contempt, from that I could hide. But it was you, my other self, my comrade and friend, you whose company I enjoyed, at whose side I walked in the house of God. Let death take me, let them go down alive to Sheol, for evil is in their homes and bellies. But I will call upon God, and the Lord will save me. At dusk, dawn, and noon, I will grieve and complain, and my prayer will be heard. He will redeem my soul in peace from those who's, who war against me, though there are many who oppress me. God, who sits enthroned forever, will hear me and afflict them, for they will not mend their ways. They have no fear of God. He stretched out his hand at his friends and broke his covenant. Softer than butter is his speech, but war is in his heart. Smoother than oil are his words, but they are unsheathed swords. Cast your care upon the Lord, who will give you support. He will never allow the righteous to stumble. But you, God, will bring them down to the pit of destruction. These bloodthirsty liars will not live half their days, but I put my trust in you. My God, deliver me from the hand of the sinner. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. After 
سأضرب الراعي فتتبدد خراف القطيع ولكن بعد قيامتي أتقدمكم إلى الجليل فأجاب بطرس إن كنت لهم جميعا حجر عثرة فلن تكون لي أنا حجر عثرة فقال له يسوع الحق كل لك في هذه الليلة Then Peter said to them, This night all of you will have your faith in me shaken. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Verbum Domini. Passio Domini Nostri Jesu Christi Secundum Marcum. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Him, the disciples came to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will have your faith shaken. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though all should have their faith shaken, mine will not be. Then Jesus said to him, Amen, I say to you, this very night, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he vehemently replied, but he vehemently replied, Even though I should have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all spoke similarly. Verbum Domini. Passio. Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, Secundum Lucam. In the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Simon, Simon, voici que Satan vous a réclamé pour vous passer au crible comme le blé. Mais j'ai prié pour toi, afin que ta foi ne défaille pas. Toi donc, quand tu seras revenu, Affermi tes frères. Pierre lui dit, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat. But I have prayed that your own faith may not fail. And once you have turned back, you must strengthen your brothers. He said to him, Lord, I am prepared to go to the prison and die with you. But he replied, I tell you, Peter, before the cock crows this day, you will deny me three times that you know me. He said to them, when I sent you forth without a money bag or a sack or sandals, were you in need of anything? No, nothing, they replied. He said to them, but now one who has a money bag shall take it, and likewise a sack, and one who does not have a sword shall sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you that this scripture must be fulfilled in me, namely, he was counted among the wicked, and indeed what is written about me is coming to fulfillment. Il a été compté avec les impies. De fait, ce qui me concerne va trouver son accomplissement. Verbum Domini. Oremus cum Christo ad firmitatem fidei obtinendam. 
Let us pray with Christ to remain firm in the faith. Let us bend the knee. Oremus, Domine Iesu Christe, qui negazionem Petri predixisti, et proeo misericordi ter exorasti, ut in fide forti ter a gratia divina constitueretur. Lord Jesus Christ, who foretold Peter's denial and mercifully prayed for him that he might be firmly established in faith by divine grace, to by his own example confirming the brethren in the same, grant, grant us, many times deviating from the right path of your precepts, the stre strength to confess your holy name and never to approach denial from you. You live and reign forever and ever. The second moment is the prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane.
my soul rests in God alone, from whom comes my salvation. God alone is my rock and salvation, my fortress I shall never fall. How long will you set yourself against a man? You shall all be destroyed, like a sagging wall or a stumbled down fence. Even highly placed people plot to overthrow him. The delight in lies, the bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. My soul, be at rest in God alone, from whom comes my hope. God alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress I shall not fall. Mon salut et ma gloire se trouvent près de Dieu. C'est Dieu mon refuge. My deliverance and honor are with God. My strong rock, my refuge is with God. Trust God at all times, my people. Pour out your hearts to God, our refuge. Mortals are a mere breath, the sons of man, but an illusion. On a balance they rise, together they weigh nothing. Do not trust in exhaustion. In plunder, put no empty hope. On wealth that increases, do not set your heart. One thing God has said, two things I have heard. Strength belongs to God. So too, my Lord, does mercy. For you repay each man according to his deeds. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Then going out he went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he arrived at the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not undergo the test. After withdrawing about a stone's throw from them and kneeling, he prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, take this cup away from me. Still, not my will, but yours be done. And to strengthen him, an angel from heaven appeared to him. He was in such agony, and he prayed so fervently that his sweat became like drops of blood falling on the ground when he rose from prayer and returned to his disciples he found them sleeping from grief he said to them why are you sleeping get up and pray that you may not undergo the test et cum surrexisset aboratione et venisset ad discipulos in veniteos dormientes pre tristitia et ait illis qui dormitis. Surgite, orate, ne intretis in tentazione. Verbum Domini. Laudem. 
Passio Domini Nostri Jesu Christi Secundum Matteo. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing a second time, he prayed again, My father, if it is not possible that this cup pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open. He left them and withdrew again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing again. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand when the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. Look, my betrayer is at hand. Verbum Domini. Passio Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, Secundum Marcum. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Then they came to a place named Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be troubled and distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch. He advanced a little and fell to the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass by him. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I will, but what you will. Ma ciò che vuoi tu. Then, when he returned, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Si allontanò di nuovo e pregò dicendo le stesse parole. Poi venne di nuovo e Withdrawing again, he prayed, saying the same thing. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open and did know, not know 
what to answer him. He returned a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. See, my betrayer is at hand. Verbum Domini. Oremus ut consort. Let us pray that we be brothers with Christ in tribulations and in glory. Let us bend the knee. Let us pray, Lord Jesus Christ, who in the garden was sad unto death. You could find no comfort in the sleeping disciples. Grant us the grace to receive strength from their weakness and to watch with you in prayer that we may deserve to be partakers of your tribulation and sharers in your glory. You live and reign forever and ever. Let us stand. The third moment is Jesus taken into captivity. Psalm 88 is the prayer of a man with serious illness. Mi 
mía salvezza. Davante a te grido giorno e notte. Lord, the God of my salvation, I call out by day. At night I cry aloud in your presence. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry, for my soul is filled with troubles. My life draws near to Sheol. I am reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I am like a warrior without strength. My couch is among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave. You remember them no more. They are cut off from your influence. You plunge me into the bottom of the pit, into the darkness of the abyss. Your wrath lies heavy upon me. All your waves crash over me. Because of you, my acquaintances shun me. You make me loathsome to them. Caged in, I cannot escape. My eyes grow dim from trouble. All day I call to you, Lord. I stretch out my hand to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do the shades arise and praise you? Is your mercy proclaimed in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your marvels declared in the darkness, your righteous deeds in the land of oblivion? But I cry out to you, Lord. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Why do you reject my soul, Lord, and hide your face from me? I have been mortally afflicted since youth. I have borne your terrors, and I am made numb. Your wrath has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. All day they surge round like a flood. From every side they encircle me. Because of you, friend and neighbor, shun me. My only friend is darkness. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a large crowd with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests and the elders of the people. His betrayer had arranged a sign with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him. Immediately he went over to Jesus and said, Hail, Rabbi, and he kissed him. Jesus answered him, Friend, do what you have come for. Then stepping forward, they laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. And behold, one of those who accompanied Jesus put his hand to his sword, drew it, and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its sheath, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot call upon my Father, 
and he will not provide me at this moment with more than 12 legions of angels. But then how would the scriptures be fulfilled, which say that it must come to pass this way? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against a robber, with swords and clubs to seize me? Day after day, I sat teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me. But all this has come to pass, that the writings of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then the disciples left him and fled. Voltando-se depois para a multidão, Jesus disse, Viestes com espadas e varapaus para me prender como se fosse um salteador. Eu estava todos os dias sentado no templo a ensinar e não me prendestes. Mas tudo isto aconteceu para se cumprirem as escrituras dos profetas. Então todos os discípulos o abandonaram e fugiram. Verbum Domini. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Then while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, the man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. One of the bystanders drew his sword, struck the high priest's servant, and cut off his ear. Jesus said to them in reply, have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? Day after day I was with you, teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled. And they all left him and fled. Now a young man followed him, wearing nothing but a linen cloth about his body. They seized him, but he left the cloth behind and ran off naked. Passio Domini Nostri Jesu Christi Secundum Lucam. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. While he was still speaking, a crowd approached him. In front was one of the twelve, a man named Judas. He went up to Jesus and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? His disciples realized what was about to happen, and they asked, Lord, shall we strike with a sword? And one of them struck the high priest's servant and cut off his ear. But Jesus said in reply, Stop, no more of this. Then he touched the servant's ear and healed him. And Jesus said to the chief priests and temple guards and elders who had come for him, have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs? Day after day I was with you in the temple area, and you did not seize me. But this is the hour, the time for the power of darkness. After arresting him, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter was following at a distance. 
Domini. Laus Fidi Christe. Oremus ut per amoris vincula servire Christo. Let us pray that we may rejoice in serving Christ through the bonds of love. Let us bend the knee. Let us pray. Domine Jesu Christe, Lord Jesus, for the redemption of men, you willingly delivered your soul into the hands of your enemies. We gladly serve you through the bonds of love. You live and reign forever and ever. Levate. Let us stand. As the stone of agony is incensed, the choir sings, Father, if this cup cannot pass, let your will be done. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why so far from my call for help, for my cries of anguish? My God, I call by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I have no relief. But I am a worm, not a man, scorned by men, despised by the people. 
Like water, my life drains away. All my bones are disjointed. My heart has become like wax. It melts away within me. Dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in on me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Save me from the lion's mouth, my poor life from the horns of wild bulls. Father, if this cup cannot pass, let your will be done. Fratres carissimi, ik et in nocte. Dear brothers, here on the night of the agony in which Christ prayed to the Father with indescribable groans, let us call upon Almighty God with one voice. Lord, have mercy. For the church divided by our sins, that the Holy Spirit may unite us. That the Redeemer of the world, who prayed with tears on the cross, may intercede with the Father for all. For those who know the bitterness of being abandoned or being stricken with, with loneliness, and for those who are suffering because of physical illness, incarceration, or moral weakness. That the Lord gives peace, justice, freedom, and brotherly love to all throughout the world. That the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob make his face shine on the people of Israel and give them the Savior whom they await. That the people of Islam find in the Christian witness of faith and charity a path to the only one who forgives and saves. that Christians suffering persecution in the Middle East be strengthened by the Father as Christ was in his agony. For Christians living in the midst of a secular world, that they may be obedient to the ways of the gospel in submitting to the will of the Father. For Christians experiencing darkness of, aban of abandonment and rejection, may the Lord's sufferings here in Gethsemane be an encouragement for an ever new act of complete surrender to the Father. For each of us, that we realize the glory of resurrection through the sufferings of Christ. We pray for the church and for Christian unity, looking to Christ as a model 
for our actions and our words. Et nunc confidenter eudem. And now with confidence and in the same spirit that Jesus Christ prayed here, we pray. Pater The Lord be with you. Inclinate vos ad benedictione. Incline your head for the blessing. Look, we beseech you, O Lord, upon your family, for which our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be handed over for the guilty and to suffer the torments of the cross. Et benedictio Dei omnipotentis, Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et mane ad semper. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining this time of prayer with us in the Garden of Gethsemane. For those at EWTN USA, Salt and Light Media, and those joining the Christian Media Center in Jerusalem through YouTube. Many people will join the procession from the Basilica of Gethsemane to the Church of St. Peter in Galicantu. Others will remain and pray quietly at the Rock of the Agony.
open yourself to a gesture of solidarity and support the mission of the custody of the Holy Land. The Christian Media Center spreads the good news of Jesus by making known to the world the spirituality of the holy places and the lives of the Christians who live here. Your contribution will help us bring the proclamation of the risen Lord, the most urgent of all, to men and women of every language and nation. To help us concretely, open the QR code. Your choice makes a difference.